Zack Snyder's Justice League got a 96% on Rotten Tomatoes, but is that enough to consider it a commercial success? Alright guys, if you want to get a question on Gotta Love That Movie, stick around to the end of the video and I'll tell you how to do that. And speaking of questions on the show, today's question comes from Redacted83. And Redacted83 says, I'm disappointed. It seems that Zack Snyder's Justice League was received quite well, but now Warner Media is saying that they won't continue with the Snyderverse. I would like to know what the viewing figures were for the Snyder Cut, to see how many other thousands, like me, they're disappointing. And also, was it a commercial success? All right, Redacted. First of all, thank you so much for the question. And yeah, so to answer this, uh, there, there's kind of two parts to your question here, right? There is, like, what were the numbers and how does it compare? And also, like, well, I mean, how many other people did they disappoint? That we don't really have any figures for, right? Uh, but was it a commercial success? Uh, first, we have to go to the numbers. And the numbers are found in an article that was posted uh, in Deadline the other day. Um, they, they compared it against Wonder Woman 1984. I mean, it's a fair comparison. Uh, it's, it's a film that takes place in the same universe, has one of the same characters in it, and it was also released on HBO Max. It's not a complete one-to-one -one comparison, but it's kind of the best thing that we have going on right now. So let's jump into this article here from Deadline, and some of the numbers that they're reporting are fairly similar, but... It, it appears that Zack Snyder's Justice League underperformed uh, when you compare it against Wonder Woman in 1984. Now, there's more to it. Um, here in the report from uh, Samba TV, as reported by Deadline, uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League had a 1.8 million um, households throughout the United States that watched the first five minutes. Now, I, I take a little issue with the five-minute qualification. In order for them to get what's considered one view, somebody needs to watch at least five minutes of Zack Snyder's Justice League. Uh, I feel like that number should be maybe a little bit higher, but okay, whatever, like whatever, semantics. Uh, they're calling it five minutes, so we'll just keep it with five minutes, right? Um, uh, they go on to say that Wonder Woman 1984, in its first weekend, pulled in 2.2 million. Now, over the course of Wonder Woman's run, you know, if you remember, it was uh, it was on HBO Max for a total of one month. Zack Snyder's Justice League will have a much longer uh, longevity, I guess, on HBO Max, as it's not it never had a theatrical run, so they're not going to be pulling it off HBO Max. Uh, it will live on HBO Max in perpetuity, right? as far as we know currently. Uh, so Wonder Woman 1984 had 2.2 million views. J Zack Snyder's Justice League had 1.8, which yes, is less than 2.2. So initially you think, oh, well Zack Snyder's Justice League underperformed Wonder Woman 1984. Maybe, I mean, yes, yes it did, right? Um, but that's not the only data that we have to go off of. Uh, let's jump over to uh, Box Office Mojo for a second. Um, box Office Mojo uh, shows us that... No, no. again, granted, we don't have a Box Office Mojo to compare against Zack Snyder's Justice League because it never debuted in theaters, right? Um, we know that it pulled in, what, $165 million, which in a COVID world isn't terrible... Um, but also like currently the highest grossing movie is Tenet with $300 million. Godzilla vs. Kong is projected to take in $323 million. Projected. Projected. Uh, so uh, it's not great, but it's also not the worst that it could have done either. Uh, lastly, I want to head over to Rotten Tomatoes. Zack Snyder's Justice League has a you know a critic score of 73 and an audience score of 96, while Wonder Woman 1984 
has a critic score of 59 and an audience score of 74. So, so there's a few things here to take into consideration. All right, you guys, there's a few things to take into consideration. Let's break it all. Let's look at all the data together. First of all, Zack Snyder's Justice League. Yeah, it had 1.8 million views, which was less than Wonder Woman in 2.2. Um, first of all, let's, let's wait the 30 days. Let's wait for Zack Snyder's Justice League to come out. Uh, or rather, for it to have been out for the same amount of time that Wonder Woman 84 was out. And then we can compare the overall numbers. In its opening weekend, Wonder Woman 84 outperformed uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League, but okay, whatever. The box office. We can't have a fair comparison when it comes to box office because Snyder Cut was never released in theaters. Um, we know that the Snyder Cut had a better audience and critic score uh, overall uh, when compared against uh, Wonder Woman 84. But also, here's one of the biggest considerations here. Zach, well, the, the, there's two There's two big considerations. One I've listed here in, in the runtime, but the other um, uh, that I'm going to bring up in a second is the fact that Wonder Woman 84 was an original film, whereas... Zack Snyder's Justice League was a recut. It's it's the director's cut of an already existing movie. So we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. But let's look at the runtime. Four hours against two and a half hours. That's that's a big ask. That's a huge ask of your audience, especially if it's a director's cut of a movie that they've already seen, right? So. Also, the last point that I want to make about Zack Snyder's Justice League is that this, this was a movie for the fans. This was not a movie for the movie-going audience in mass. This film was created, like an, an additional $70 million was put into the budget to create Zack Snyder's vision or to complete Zack Snyder's vision, right? Your average movie-going audience is not going to look at this. Well, first of all, it wasn't marketed. HBO Max and Warner Brothers, they knew who they were marketing this movie towards. They were not marketing this movie towards your average movie-going audience, to your average family. First of all, it was rated R, of which I don't really understand why it was rated R. They dropped the F-bomb twice. And one of those easily could have been taken. Like I don't know, it was just it didn't it didn't feel like an R-rated movie to me. But whatever. Um, but this movie was not made for your general movie-going audience. This was made for the fans. This was made for the people who were saying hashtag release the Snyder Cut, passionately so. And those were the people that came out to watch this movie. Not everyone. I was not a hashtag release the Snyder Cut. I, I was under, I, I was kind of operating under the, let's leave it alone. We've already seen Justice League. It wasn't that great. The Snyder Cut isn't going to be any better. I was pleasantly surprised. It is far and away so much better than the original film because we get more character development. I still am under the uh, opinion that it needed to be three hours instead of four hours, but whatever. It is what it is, right? This movie was not made for everyone. This was made for uh, a much smaller viewing audience. So when you compare all of that information, and let's let's go back here, right? Let's go back here to the 1.8 million households to watch it in the opening weekend, as opposed to Wonder Woman 84's 2.2 million. Was this a commercial success? I think I think that this movie was as successful as this movie could have been. It was as successful as this movie could have been. This this 4-hour cut was not meant for your main movie going audience. It just wasn't. Um did it underperform? Yeah, because it's a longer it's okay, here here's the story. When I uh told my fiance Kim uh, hey, do you, let's like. There's this new cut of Justice League. I'd kind of like to sit down and watch it with you. Like, do you want to watch with me? And she's like, four hours? Nope, hard pass. And then when I told her that it's not in movie theaters, it's at home on HBO Max. She's like, 
Oh, and also like it's broken up in what like six or seven different segments. Like you can you can't really I guess you can kind of watch by chapters. Um, it's not uploaded by episodes. It's like it has chapters in it, right? Uh, and when I explain that, she's like, "Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we can watch it like chapter by chapter and kind of like see how we go, right?" She fell asleep halfway through. She got like an hour and a half, almost two hours into it, and they're still doing so much exposition and character development that in a superhero movie, where's the superhero-ness? Where's the fighting? Where's the action, right? There's a little, there's a little action, but it wasn't enough to hold her attention. She was not the target demographic that this movie was going after. My fiance represents the in mass viewing general audience. I, on the other hand, am represented by the smaller demographic. I was interested in this movie. I really was. I wasn't excited, but I was very interested to see what Zack Snyder was going to do with it. So when you take all that information into account, it's a four-hour movie. It's a long movie to a film that's already come out that wasn't that good in the first place. Now, it's we can have a separate debate. Commercially... Zack Snyder's Justice League lost money. It lost about $60 million. It lost about $60 million. The, the, the budget was $300 million. It made a little over $650 million, which if you do the math, you have your production budget, which $300 million. You have your marketing budget, which you have to double your production budget. So now we're at $600 million. And then you have to do approximately, approximately $1.5. It's different for every movie. Um, and, you know, their marketing budget is, it's kind of an approximate. It's generally accepted that it's double, but, you know, it's again, it's approximate, right? So it ended up losing the theatrical cut about $60 million. It wasn't very well received critically. It wasn't very well received uh, in the audience, in the audience score. Um, so when they did this recut, this the, the Zack Snyder's Justice League version, they're not trying to reach everybody. They're trying to say, this is, this is what you guys asked for. This was marketed to a very small demographic of people, whereas Wonder Woman 84 was advertised to a much larger demographic of people. So yeah, it only stands to reason that Wonder Woman 84 would have the higher view count on HBO Max. Now, in its total runtime, Wonder Woman had a little over 3 million views in homes. We're just going to have to wait the 30 days to see how Zack Snyder's Justice League compares. I still think it's going to fall short a little bit. I mean, it's a four-hour movie. It's, it's a long ask. It's a big ask of people. So was it successful? Yes, I think that Zack Snyder's Justice League was as successful as it could have been. But what do you guys think? Do you have a different take on this? Do you have a different opinion? Let me know down in the comments section below. Lastly, uh, Redacted83, you ask um, uh, that you want to know what the figures are so that you can know how many other thousands like me are, uh, are, are being disappointed. I, when you're looking, when you're, when you're comparing this to the... Um, uh, to the nerd, geek, uh, super fan kind of crowd, I think a lot of us are going to be disappointed that we're not getting, that we're not going to get future installments of Justice League 2, Justice League 3, so that we can see that completed story arc. We know that Zack Snyder had some really big plans, and uh, Ann Sarnoff, uh, who's the CEO over at Warner Media, she pretty much came out black and white the other day and said they are not continuing on with the Snyderverse. They're, they have other plans and they really hope that fans get behind these new ideas, these new creatives, these new stories, these new storytellers. Because she thinks, and you know, everyone over at Warner Brothers thinks that they have some really interesting, really fun, exciting, creative things on the horizon. And... Zack Snyder's Justice League was a treat. They didn't have to do it. They didn't have to invest an additional $70 million to make Zack Snyder's vision come to life. But they did. 
that was the treat. And so all of the tags at the end of the movie, it was it uh, it felt very uh, akin to me to. Uh, uh, to Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, where it had like six or seven different endings. Uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League had multiple, it didn't, multiple endings. You know what I'm talking about. It just kind of went on and on and on. They dragged it out and they kept leaving cliffhanger after cliffhanger after cliffhanger, right? As to places where this could go. Um, so that was kind of cool. I, I, I really don't think we're ever going to see an end to that. Uh, I think we have our ending right now. And... You know, who knows? Who who knows what the future is going to bring? Who knows if they're going to tie this stuff together? I doubt it. I think Warner Brothers in, in uh, DC, I think they're going to go in a completely different direction. But question is for you guys. What do you think that Warner Brothers in DC is going to do? Do you actually think that, you know, this was enough of a commercial success that we're going to continue on with the Snyderverse. Do you think all of this and Sarnoff uh, stuff saying no more Snyderverse is just a decoy? Do you think she's playing it safe for now? Or do you actually think this is it? This is the end. That's how I feel. But maybe you have a different take and a different opinion on it. Do you think that Zack Snyder's Justice League was a commercial success? I want to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. All right, guys, um, at the beginning of the video, I said, if you have a question, if you want to know how to get your question on Gotta Love Them Movies, all you have to do is send me an email at gotta love them movies at gmail.com. As long as it's family, family friendly, um, we'll make your comment question topic like a main subject uh, its own standalone video here on Gotta Love Them Movies. Just send me an email. Uh, you guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, oh, I should have this ready. If you like this video, click like. If you really like this video, click subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, click share. Because that is exactly what Zack Snyder would want you to do. You guys, we live in a weird, crazy world where everybody has their own thoughts and opinions, and sometimes those thoughts and opinions clash. So if you have an opportunity to add, infuse a little bit of kindness into the world or to speak kind words to each other, please, I implore you, take those opportunities. As always, on behalf of... On behalf. As always, in the words of Bill and Ted, be excellent to each other. I'll see you guys tomorrow.